Correct and wonderful people, how una they welcome back to Texas TV. We don't carry another approach or come on a domot about waiting the sub for inside palace. As information where the riches now be safe, when Naomi Shine Kola Ogunsi cried so bitterly in Akire Mansion today on hearing what the Lafogedi ruling houses has come palace to demand for Olori Ashley. My correct people, Una Sikwe Nawomi, I think that the love for the ruling houses, that is the elders, are envying Mommy Tedenekao. They are envying what Queen Nawomi have because they want Ashley to have the same thing that Queen Nawomi Ogunse have, which we know that it is not possible. Ashley succeeded in having Kabiyesi all to herself. She succeeded in coming into the palace as the fourth wife of Kabiyesi after frustrating Queen Naomi to leave. She is the main person that separated Queen Naomi and Kabiyesi. Because we heard that when Queen Naomi was in the palace as of 2018, Ashley was there and she was pushing around Kabiyesi. She was following Kabiyesi up and down performing rituals without being a woman knowing that Ashley is a marriage devourer. Yes, you would have heard the stories of Ashley in the palace by now. Ashley has done a lot to Mommy Tedenekao, but we know that God of Vengeance will not allow Ashley to rest until she pay for everything that she has done to Queen Naomi. Yes. Because how on earth can Ashley stay in the palace in disguise as one of Kabiyesi's close worker without Queen Naomi knowing that Ashley is still having affairs with Kabiyesi? She has been one of Kabiyesi's concubines for the past eight years. According to Ashley, she said that she has been friends and in a good relationship with Kabiyesi for 10 years. That shows that she has been there for so long before Queen Naomi came in. There was a time Ashley was claiming that she had an oath with Kabiyesi that they are not going to leave each other. We don't know whether it is true or false. We don't know. But one thing is certain that Kabiyesi loves Queen Naomi Ogunsi more than any of the Oloris where they palace. Okay, right now my correct and wonderful people. We heard allegedly that Ashley's kinsman came into the palace today with a huge demand from Kabi, you see? Yes. Ashley gave birth to Ademakiwa two months ago now. So Ademakiwa will be around two months by now. They couldn't even wait. They came to the palace today to demand for Queen Naomi's crown. That Ashley, coming from a luring house, giving birth to a son, Ademakewa, making Ademakewa the crown prince of Ilefe kingdom, has automatically won Ashley a crown. And for that, that they have come to demand that Kabiyesi should hand over Queen Naomi's crown to Olori Ashley. Now that one will enter Kabiyesi for brain. Because Kabiyesi did not know why they came. Kabiyesi received them in the palace today, thinking that they have returned back for Aderunke. Yes, we are still in the case of Aderunke. It has not been treated yet. What Aderunke and Miriam committed in the palace is still pending, and Kabiyesi has vowed to deal with them that he is not going to let this one slide. We are still on that case without knowing say Ashley she get plan. And that is why she has not returned. Maybe she wants the day she will be entering palace let Kabiyesi give her the crown. But it is not going to be possible. That is just the truth. Because it is not Kabiyesi that's choosing. That is choosing who will have that crown. It is the girls and they have chosen Queen Naomi. So when they made their terrible demand, Kabiyesi was shocked to hear such a thing from them. Because Kabiyesi did not expect 
that they will come into the palace to make this kind of a stupid demand from him. Kabi said all that the issue of Ashley's matter has come. The only thing Kabi is waiting for is for Ashley to bring that child into the palace so that it will be presented to the gods for them to confirm whether Kabi is the father. My correct and wonderful people. I beg make a great sooner before we carry this hour go. Good morning, afternoon, evening to you all according to your time. And the time we will not take the see this video. We are welcome back to Tessie's TV and we are still on the gist about waiting the stock for inside palace. My correct and wonderful people. When I see Ashley, one day she will get waiting she they look for when a woman body. Because Queen Naomi, she don't try to the distance herself from the Oloris and still, you see the Oloris fighting Queen Naomi up and down, upon same moment Sedenekawu is not looking for the trouble. We all know that Queen Naomi is the chosen one, everybody knows that. It is not something of today. It is something that started when, the day Queen Naomi stepped her, uh, step her foot into the palace. It has been that way, even though she has left, we still hear say the gods is not ready to appoint any other person as the chosen one. That they, they still point Queen Naomi and insist that Mami Tadineka will be one day return back to the palace and wear her crown. But right now, Olori Ajni has sent his elders, that is her kinsmen, the for the learning houses, to come and make this huge demand. From Kabiyesi, that Kabiyesi should hand over Queen Naomi's crown to Olori Ashley, that Ashley deserves it because Ashley has given birth to the Crown Prince of Hilefe Kingdom. Remember, this issue of the Crown Prince of Hilefe Kingdom has been addressed. Ademakewa is not the Crown Prince. We don't know why the Lafogidi ruling houses is carrying it on their head. We heard that they are saying that Ademakewa might be the next king of uh, Elefe Kingdom, which is a totally a lie. It is going to reach Prince Tedinekawa before Ademakewa. If at all, it will reach him. But we don't know. It is the gods that choose who to be king. It is not a merely man something. So let the gods decide. Let Ashley stop forcing her son as the crown prince of Elefe Kingdom. Kabiyesi, as we heard, did not give any answer to the love of the learning houses for making this terrible demand. And we know, see, Kabiyesi is not ready to answer them anytime soon because that crown is for Queen Naomi and not for Ashley. My correct and wonderful people, now the story where we carry come be this about the bus bus where they saw for inside palace. I may make a chukma for this approval. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned, stay connected for more updates. We'll be dropping from time to time about waiting the stop for palace. And for my returning subscribers, I can never cease to appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so dearly. Thank you so very much for always sticking to this TV.